uh, need of the research study is that the students of 7th standard desire uh, attention they are always in the phase of changing their moods and then this is a child center uh, activity to be done then the teachers in this inquiry based teaching we need to uh, develop the ability of the students to uh, thinking ability inquiry towards the things so inquiry based helps the students in learning in the natural way now the title which i had specified that is inquiry based teaching using low cost experiments i need to explain that what do you mean by inquiry based teaching every one of us are always a, having a habit since our childhood even the small ch children we have seen that they are asking questions to each and every one of us and we are always finding the answers to the questions to know the world around us and make the sense of it and we are living in this way and that there where the inquiry starts or inquiry based teaching is started in our life and this is based on the natural arc of every one of us and it is based on the psychological theory of john devier on constructivism where students get the experiences and they learn through the experiences they construct the knowledge from the experiments and learn the things so this is a base basic of inquiry based teaching and inquiry based teaching actually has four stages the first stage is to ask question inquire about it second stage is that they will investigate the answers to the questions that investigation may be through the source resources given by the teachers as well as they will find it some resource from internet or experimentations and etc then next is they will discuss on the things what they have connected the observations and the investigations what material they have collected all those students will uh, discuss about it and the last stage is they will reflect on what they have done whether they have really achieved the thing or not have they gained the thing the answer to the question this is what are the phases of inquiry based teaching then actually inquiry based teaching has four levels that uh, sorry three levels that is structured guided inquiry then next is the guided inquiry and open in inquiry in the present research it is structured guided inquiry what is what do you mean by that that is the teacher provides a question she promotes a question to the students she will be providing step by step guidance to the students and they will follow the step they will then investigate the things and they'll collect the data and then later on they will reflect your teacher is giving them a structure she's guiding them at all the places then the next part of my title was low cost experiment the low cost experiments here i mean the unit which is taken is transfer of heat now transfer of heat contains what do you mean by heat conduction convection and radiation so all these three things every day in every one of our us are experiencing it at home ki what do you mean by heat even a small one year child can know what is heat but the scientific word that the temperature is the cause of heat so that can be discovered by just doing experimenting the things a simple experiment low cost materials such plastic bowls can be taken three bowls and in that different uh, temperature water can be poured a cold temperature hot temperature and a room temperature water and students will in, in find out the difference between the uh, temperature of the water and then they will come to the conclusion that it is because of the temperature the things the even though it is water you can find it out this is one of the thing and then the next part is conduction conduction every day we see that when mother is cooking the food she keep first keep the utensils and the utensils are of different materials steel aluminum brass and it is seen that the teacher will provide the guidance you make the note how long does it take to get the vessel hot does it get hot completely at one time or does it start from the bottom and if not then a small experiment can be done at the end of the teacher small strips of metals can be given of different materials where they can find out ki which material conducts where it gets where how the heat is transferred from one end to other end and at different materials what is the effect so they will investigate in this way even they can put two strips together and find out like or you can take an alloy 
here one alloy can show you a solder wire which is of tin and lead and they can find the conductivity heat conductivity in it also so this can be the conduction can be studied at this low cost and then the next is convection convection is also seen every day when the people are nowadays they are not using the water uh, heating the water in the vessel for bath they are using the geyser but students at their home can use a water heat it and find out the first the water on the top will not get up heated up first how they can observe by immersing the hand but that will be difficult they can put some food color in in it and then they can observe the observe the food color particles will rotate and they can do it or otherwise they can make a pin uh, sprinkler or paper which is made up of and just hold it on the candle and they will find that the sprinkler is going around which is also can be due to convection so this way they can see convections they can understand then the next part is radiation so radiation can be just start with the bulb electrical bulb they can feel when you turn it on before turning it is cool cold and afterwards when it turn on then it becomes hot slowly gradually and then it is again reduced so they will find out they will experiment using this low cost experiments it hardly cost you uh, 200 rupees maximum so that was the aim of my title the need is what that the students require the phase they are always in adolescence the seventh standard it was performed so they are always in the phase shift and they are not concentrated then the education of nowadays is child center your child has to do that and we need to develop creative thinking ability reasoning power because this is a 26th era and inquiry based learning helps in all this naturally doing because we are all having the quality of inquiry based inquisitiveness is there in us so this uh, bearing all this need the research was conducted then importance of the research it is important to the students as well as teachers as i said that students will develop their skills and the skills will help them life long to investigate any problem any solution which is have any problem which is having no, no clear, clear solution they can investigate it on their own and they can come to it they can find some solution so it is not only for studying but they will develop this habit and for the students for the teachers they will be able to create a proper directions directed plans they will be able to develop the creativity of students scientific temperament thinking and all their abilities she can dwell them and develop the child all round the statement of the problem is a study of effectiveness of inquiry based students of inquiry based teaching using low cost experiments on the achievement of seven standard students in science from english medium uh, schools from pune city the objective bearing this objective the, there were three objectives and the three objective is that the to prepare the program uh, based on inquiry based learning using low cost experiments that was the primary uh, objective the next objective is was that to implement this program to get the results and third thing to analyze whether this program was successful or not then assumptions the review of the research was done and which requires the foundation base for the research so review of some research material was done and the proved fact was taken as the assumptions and it is seen that the there is tremendous increase in the self confidence of the students their thinking ability is increase the science temperament is increased and scope and delimitations of the research study the scope the st scope was it had a scope of english medium school and it was delimited to the syllabus of ssc board of english medium school uh, a researcher had a scope in teaching mo models in science subject and it was delimited to the phases of inquiry based teaching the research was related to science subject of seven standard students and the research was delimited to general science transmission of heat the topic of transmission of heat of seven standard and this research was delimited to the year 2014 2015 limitations of the research study that inference which are out of control of the researchers outside the premises or the administrative of is not in control of the researchers as well as the mood of the students is not in control then the reviews were taken from internet as well as some of the literatures and some of the proved uh, published and unpublished literatures 
the type of research was applied research used and the methodology was multi uh, multi uh, research method which had two components product development and experimental method the research design was that it was a single group test pre test and post test design the variables of the research were the independent variable the convectional method that is herbart method and the next is inquiry based method the dependent variable on this were achievement test which is their control variable the age of the students their mood their uh, uh, sex everything is uh, control variable and the achievement test comprised of 30 marks which had the questions based on comprehensive knowledge the uh, knowledge comprehension and application the questions consist of fill in the blanks match the following true or false give reasons and some drawing and answer the long questions population of this was an infinite population and the population for the research presentation was a non all the non aided schools in the pune city sample the sample was chosen by a purposive sampling method and the school was chosen by an incidental sampling method which had the sample size of 23 students tool of data collection was the achievement test pre test and post test which had the same question paper data tool for analysis was mean standard deviation correlations and t test this procedure for the research is that they had what is the research problem statistical comparison of pre-test and post-test as it can be seen the number of students were 23 for pre-test and post-test single uh, single group the mean at the pre-test by convectional method was 9.9 .9, and at post-test for the inquiry base it was 14.6 the t-test at 0.01 was 2.8 and what uh, obtained value is 15.62 this is the graphical representation in which you can see there are two graphs one with blue color that is the convectional method and the red color which is the uh, uh, actual experimental method and you can see the rise of the marks of the students then the research finding there are some of the research finding the inquiry based teaching scores of post test are increased then the pre test scores of the seven standard students there is a statistical significance between the pre-test and the post-test scores after implementation implementing the program of inquiry based teaching using low cost materials inquiry based teaching uh, is more significant and it is used it is developing the science temperament then the hypothesis two hypotheses were chosen that is research hypothesis and null hypothesis the research hypothesis stated that there will be a significant difference between uh, the pre-test and the post-test of the students after implementing the program and the null hypothesis that there is no there will be no significant difference between the pre-test and the post-test after implementing the program as it is seen from the data analysis the t value obtained is 15.6 and the t value at 0 0.01 is 2. Six. So, the null hypothesis is rejected and research hypothesis is selected. That means the inquiry based learning is more efficient than conventional learning and which will help students to develop their science temperament and science attitude. Thank you.